That's our family. So it was around uh, 14 in number. They're now moving from the park to outside the community land. Our family can have seven. We can have between seven Which to 24. Seven. Which one is the matriarch here? So you, you see this one at the, uh, the, the second, the third one. You see this, this first two, the, 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 the big in size, the, the mother. The big one. Yeah, that's the matriarch. And you, most of the time you see when they're moving out, mm -hmm. either she's number one or number two. Basically, they normally come to the park during the day, actually to get water and uh, probably get some, a bit of food. And in the evening, this is a phenomenon that is very unique. In the evening, you see quite a number now moving to the community land for more, uh, actually, for more food as they come tomorrow morning for, for water. Amboseli National Park has had a baby boom in the last one year. And if we can do simple mathematics is that this is a family and within this family we can see there are 12 elephants out of the 12 elephants there are six young elephants or simply calves located in the southern part of kenya and near the tanzania border amboseli national park has seen an increase in the number of elephants in recent years the warden attributes this to reduced level of poaching. In the last three years, no single elephant in this park has fallen due to poaching. But these animals are facing a new danger, change in land use. The rise of commercial agriculture in historical conservation areas has led to a depletion of their habitat and migratory routes. In essence, we are not self-sustaining as, as Amboseli. We still need more land for this, uh, for the wildlife in general, not only elephants. So while subsistence agriculture continues to be dangerous for elephants, because indeed subsistence farmers will constantly fight off the elephants, but then they coexist one way or other. But commercial agriculture, no chance. The people that are investing in commercial agriculture are wealthy. They can put up electric fences. They can abstract water from the water table. They completely change the landscape. It becomes impossible for elephants to coexist. Samuel Kanki is a native of Amboseli and hails from Kenya's Maasai tribe. His people have a history of living in harmony with wildlife. He says changes in the way of life here is affecting conservation of key animal species like elephants. He is currently fighting off people investing in commercial agriculture like planting avocados. Those are migratory routes for wildlife and we know these animals bring tourists whom we sell our merchandise to. Our youth also get jobs in hotels and some get employed in conservancies as rangers. So there are many ways we benefit from these migratory corridors. There are several reasons. They move because some species that are medicinal could not be within the area there, so they have to move. And we've seen like they move from here to Tanzania through Kiteden and also to Savo. There are plants that are there that are not here. They also move because of the saltlings. They move to give birth and to mate. What is your final message to the world as it celebrates the world Elephants Day. We are celebrating a being that is becoming more and more rare, that has the threat to become extinct. The world needs to stand up and recognize that together it's the only way we're going to save elephants because elephants need all hands on deck. Enoxicolia, CGTN, Amboseli, Kenya.